we'll see you in about 10 minutes or so. This is a really pretty one. I think they built this themselves about six years ago. It's in that typical kind of lodge look. <laughs> So this is a really nice one. They used to have a Deja Blue in the back where they tried to put, um, you know, higher end boutique items, but it didn't really work out. But now they put like the, what they think is vintage and stuff in there. It's a pretty big Goodwill, pretty big. And that's where the bookshop and the coffee station in the back. That's what's on sale. And then the hidden color will be whatever was 50% off last week, which I believe was green. It's pretty big, and it looks like they've moved the jewelry counters up front by the cash register. So, let's get started. Okay, hi you guys. Okay, so I've done some of the rounder tops, and I'm headed over to Hard Goods, right? I'll show you what I picked up so far. Some nice afghans, really nice. This one's $6.99, but it's huge. This more simple one is um, $4.99? But again, you know, you want to look for not overly washed or anything, so it's not all pilly and fuzzy. So I did put some, I did put some quilts in my booth. I saved the better ones for eBay, the ones I know I can get 50 or more above. And I put six in there and one already sold, like within two days. So um, I'll put some more in. I'm getting them at a really affordable price. For some reason, I like this fabric. It's just really pretty. I think it's upholstery fabric, $3.99. <laughs> I sell these every once in a while. You know, I love tissue box covers. This one's adorable for only half price of $1.29. That's cute. You know, it's that plastic stitch work. Super cute, huh? Put that in the booth. And this is a Hager. Oh, darn it. Okay, oops. Darn it. How much is it? Oh, I'm still going to get it. I'm still going to get that. I'll just use it. I'll just fix it and use it myself. Because it's uh, a third off of $1.99. Sorry. But it says Hager under there. That's kind of a pretty shape. I'm not going to leave that here. And uh, I love roller skating. You guys know that. And um, I've talked about it before, roller skating ever since I was a teenager and roller derby and all that and the dancing. And that has hit back up again. The quad skates, of course, for roller derby and quad skating and dancing is all the rage again. So I'm going to get that. I'll either keep it and sell it. It will be a third off. This statue, man and woman hugging. So a third off. I try to figure out what that says on the bottom later. I like it. Am I showing it? It's about 12 inches tall. Pretty heavy. And wait do you see these. Look at these bird bookends. $3.99. There's some kind of tag under there. No, that's a hole. You turn them around. Oh, I don't see any chips so far, but I better check carefully. They're bookends. Isn't that precious? So let me adjust all this carefully, and, you know, in between these blankets to secure it. All right, and let's move on to hard goods. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I made it to hard goods. They've rearranged since I've been here. Are these leprechauns or... Wait a minute. Okay, no, they're not like mountain Appalachian, like banjo playing. No, this is European, right? Would that work as leprechauns? $349. They're just resin and probably modern. Oh, there's a nice plate with that crystal in it. I've sold quite a few of those. How much is that one? This one's new, but wow, that's pretty. I might get that one. We better skip this aisle. Let's pick another aisle first. We'll come back to that one. Some Italian glass shades. 
well, Italian-like. I can't verify they're Italian. Now that's cute that somebody covered with that Route 66. How much is that? $249. I think I might get that. I've got a cute little lamp. I think that might go with it. Let's look at the shots keys. Drama mask. What is it? Tragedy, drama, tragedy. Those are metal enamel. The condition's not good though, or I would get those. I want to test mask. I think those are coming back in vogue. This eagle. $3.99. No signature. It's kind of heavy, but I think it's just resin. But nice detail. Wait a minute. What color was that? Not on sale yet. Paper. what this brass stuff is. Brass shells, $249. Three of them. Just seeing how it cleans up. Hmm. Brass is scaring me. It's got to be just the right piece. So, let me think about those. Oh, look at you. Hoover Dam. I might get that and just take off the Hoover Dam. He's cute. I like these little finials for like, you know, like maybe bedpost or something. They look like real brass and polished wood. That's kind of cool. There's a tiki figure. Nope. They're having a lot of fun in the next aisle, you guys. <laughs> Is this a Wedgwood? I might get that since it's a set. I don't decorate this way, but I know people like that romantic look. Let's try to figure out whose that is. Some kind of Jasper wear. I don't know if it's Wedgwood or not. We'll check it out in a minute. Salt and pepper shakers? Jamaica souvenirs. Is that their police? Somebody made that, but it's cute. It's got a Lennoxy look. Sold a mirrored box for like over $25 that I paid $3.99 for at the thrift store, and it sold at the booth. So I like that. Let's take these out. I like that the booth can sell new stuff too. They have the clientele for it. So this is a, how much is it? $6.99, a third off. You know, this is somebody paint a mold. Not bad job though. It needs to be just a little cheaper. You're not quite a food dog. You, or you're a, you're a happy food dog. Atlantic molds. Ooh, half price. Okay, when we get to the end of each aisle, I'll stop and check things. I don't want to take them too far away. But let me get through the aisle before I get sniped. <laughs> Here's like a 60s, 70s thing. You're like a Flintstone raggedy. <laughs> Let's see. It's got a vintage tag on it too. Maria something. Maria Pia by can't read that without my glasses a bank that's kind of funny I like those like the cats and stuff and the lions well, there's a lot of cute stuff in here Oops. just plastic well, there's something for there's something for coming up St. Patty's Day. Winter Flush. 
by Stan Benthal. That's cute. Let's check that out too. Wonder whose glass piece this is. Anybody recognize it? You're cute. I know you guys see some things that you would buy, but you know, we each have our own taste. Top fin, that's for aquarium. Unpainted owl mold. I do want to buy some masks, but I'm going to be kind of picky. $3.99. There's another one. Yeah, we better look. We better check these out. Now, this one's broken, but same person. Yeah, I'm going to pause for a minute. Check those out. Oh, we'll wait. I'm almost done with the row. Let's just finish it real quick, and then I'll pause at the end and check that stuff out. Because I see a few things. I love the ruby glass. And I think I'm going to get this because it matches the other statue that I've got down in there that I showed you guys before we started. So that can be like mom and dad reading or brother and sisters reading. So let's add that to it and see if it helps. There are a lot of other resellers here right now. I can tell you that. <laughs> I see them and I know them or recognize them. Resin, but you're adorable. Let me check this stuff out so whatever I don't want, we can just put back right now on this row and move on. Okay, here's the verdict. I put most everything back either upon closer inspection, it was chipped or cracked, or the value wasn't there, or I wasn't comfortable with the price. Okay, this is a lion. Hello, now I get it. I am going to get that. <laughs> Someone made it from a mold. What, Atlantic? I like that. And these are a thing. This guy did it for Danbury Mint. I'm going to pay $4.99 after making sure everything is there by comparing it with other pictures. I mean, it doesn't look broken to me, but I need to make sure that something's not missing. Like right there. But they sell for around $40 to $50. So, um, even though it's Danbury Mint. So, it must be a famous artist that did that for them. This one is definitely broken and falling apart. So, I put it back. This is... Keystone Ceramics. They don't resell for a whole lot, so I decided to put that back. All right, this aisle is getting busy. I am moving on. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Well, bummer. Let me turn around. I did have to put that back. There is something missing in that little hole. That's a bummer. That would be worth a little money. Okay, an empty aisle. Yes. Well, I came up here thinking it wouldn't be as busy as in town looked, but surprise. Everybody in Monument is enjoying their local goodwill. <laughs> Nine. Pier one. That's a good price though. You know, we've been talking about this. Pier one went to online only. Not pottery barn. I didn't think so. The quality wasn't quite there. $2.99. I like it. It's interesting. Do you see the shh? <laughs> $14.99. Ooh. I was going to say, is that a vintage bottle? Most likely. Something's in it, too. I don't know if it's unopened or they just filled it. I decided to put this up. I'm like, I think I just got carried away because it's glass. But when you look at it, I'm like, what am I, I guess candy, not really chips and dips because the chip, I don't know. <laughs> just let me get over it, okay? Because I think it's just the pretty glass that I like. Oh boy, look at this glass. $3.99. Frosted glass on a silver base. I just like that. We're getting company, so I might move a little faster. Got some of these. I just sold a blue one though. If it was colored, I'd get it. Swans. Oh. 
lead crystal and for my white swan Christmas if I don't sell it. Yes. Dang, I really like this too. That chunky frosted 3D relief glass. That's really pretty. I'm suspecting it's going to be vintage at least, right? Just pretty glass. I think that's new. Mushrooms and fruit. Oh boy. Italy. Italy, $4.99. Hmm. It's got a little damage. That's an interesting piece though, isn't it? I have to stop every once in a while when the aisle gets busy, okay? I don't want to be rude. Not much on vases. I mean, cute stuff, but you know, modern. If it's cheap enough, I still get it. Definitely. I don't see anything. No, no, no. I don't really see anything. A little epic, you guys. But I did pick up this while I was waiting for it to clear. This is one of those, like, bedside water and then if, if this was untaped you'd see that's a matching cup you can barely see the spout in there how much is it 249 yes this is the first time finding one i don't know if that's older looks like mexican glass or recycled glass i don't know if it's older but these still sell this is the first time i've found one so i'm pretty happy next aisle mugs and plates and such There we go. Ha! Huh. Yes. There we go. I don't see anything else, you guys. Maybe that one? Okay, I had to dip out on the plate aisle because it got kind of busy, but I did pick out two things. This stack of plastic... Easter Bunny plates, 99 cents a third off. Just stick them in the booth. And I don't know if these are worth a whole lot, these collector plates. And I don't do a lot of this kind of thing. Who are these for? Are these Danbury Bradford Exchange by Diana Casey is the artist. But these are nice. These are those hidden characters, you know, those paintings. So I like these and they'll be a third off. So we're going to do that. Okay, next aisle, I had to stop and get something to drink. And now, I'm just waiting for that to clear out the antique section, vintage section, so we can go in. And I think it's cleared out, so let me swing around over there. Well, I am a little perplexed. This area usually has, like, vintage and antiques, and although it has some, I didn't really find anything. Even the crochet blankets, the ones... They're a little bit more expensive in this section. The ones I got out in the regular section were better. There's some vintage glass here. Most of it's pretty modern. It's a few pieces. This is plastic. This is plastic. Okay. Maybe they just ran out, you know, of the vintage and whatever. But I did find one item in here and I'm happy about it. It was a good price. That. Yes, $2.79. Nice Southwest Holly Davidson pillow. So we've already got a couple of nice leather ones, and I don't do Southwest decor, so I will go ahead and sell this one. Okay, so back out into the main area. Wow, it's definitely getting cold out. I'm just looking through the moonroof at the cute flags, but it's getting even a little colder. I think it's going to snow. Hi, hi. Okay, so that was fun. I had to get in my car to say goodbye. It's freezing out. Um, so I'm going to head on home. It's just about 10 minutes down the street. But I'm glad I popped up this way. It was busier than I thought. But that's okay. I haven't been here in like eight years. Found some good stuff. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun. I did. Oh, I bought a piece of jewelry on the way out. Yeah, I bought a piece of jewelry out of the case that was right up there by the cash register. It's just a little cat figurine um, made out of silver, maybe sterling silver. Find out when I get home.
on a chain and I've uh, bought and sold something like that before it was a big winner I actually had several viewers want it so I said oh it's another one all right you guys I hope it's um, nice and warm wherever you're at I know this is like sweeping through the country on and off just unreasonably cold I am so looking forward to spring already all right you guys thank you so much I'll talk to you later okay Bye -bye. oh wait it was in my pocket when I went to get my keys okay there it is cute huh all right. Bye-bye.